Hi and welcome to session 9 in our Back to Swimming series with me, Wayne, from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Now in this session, the main set is based on threshold swimming and then taking that up to slightly faster swimming. So we're going to be pushing the boundaries and trying to get you used to swimming at that faster pace. In fact, your race pace plus. But that's not going to be before we repractice the catch that you've been developing over the last few weeks and that nice relaxed recovery, plus accelerating out the back end of your stroke to maximise the effectiveness of each pull of your arms. But as always, we start with a warm up, and this week we're going to for 100 metres, either on two minutes or take a 15 to 20 seconds rest between each. And remember, the aim of this is to slowly but surely increase your pace as you go through the four, so that at the end of the fourth, you're actually going at or just above your triathlon race pace. We're now going to put our fins uh, for a set of 12 fifties on 105 doing drills and we're going to do three drills in all in sets of four and the first one is the pointed catch-up that you've been doing over the past few weeks we're going to go to the computer because I really want you to concentrate on these before you start the main set so you're really practicing good technique before you try and put that into practice okay so here's the pointed catch-up drill now the aim of this is to be in the catch-up position where your arms are level with your shoulders and out in front and together. And then one of your arms moves to the catch position and then it drives back, the other arm staying right out front and then it joins. The other arm then goes in the catch position and then that drives back. Now from the side, it looks like this. Catch position, drive back. And as you drive back, you accelerate through the stroke and as you accelerate through the stroke, you'll feel yourself surge forward every single time. And we really want to see that surge as you drive back. So it's really important to get the catch and then drive it. But as you drive it, accelerate all the way to the end of the stroke. The next drill is going to be the finger drag drill. We're going to do again four fifties of these. And that's going to be with a really nice relaxed arm. But once again, I really want you to concentrate on these. So let's go to the computer and just refresh our minds as to how this should be. Here we have a closer view of someone doing finger drag. I want you to watch something really closely. Watch the lead arm. Now you can just about see it here, it's there. And that will stay there until the other arm comes right by the shoulder. You can see the lead arm is there and it stays there, it's still there. You can still see it as the arm passes the shoulder. And you should really try to do that with finger drag. Try and retain the leading arm forward. You can see it there again, leading arm, and the other arm is just coming past the shoulder and that's when he can release it. It makes the finger drag really smooth and makes you very balanced as a swimmer. So try and do that when you're practicing this drill. Lastly, we're going to do four fifties, fists one length, distance per stroke the next. So you reintroduce the hands after 25 meters and then really accelerate out the back end of the stroke. When we look at the fists to distance per stroke drill, we swim one length with clenched fists. So we've only got the forearm to actually grab the water. So we grab the water with the forearm and accelerate back. And then on the second length, when we've turned, we reintroduce the hands. That makes the hands really quite sensitive to the water. And we grab the catch, drive back. And as we drive back, we really accelerate backwards. And we accelerate backwards as hard as we can. And that gives us a real drive forward. That gives us the distance per stroke we're talking about. We're not looking for distance per stroke by just staying on your side and slowly but surely kicking and sl slowly but surely getting a longer stroke because we're just holding it there. No, we're trying to get a distance per stroke by what we're doing underwater with our arms. Nothing to do with above water and it's not about slowing our stroke down. So what we're trying to do is extend the distance we swim by accelerating the arm backwards better. We're now taking our fins off and we're going to have a build set to our main set. We're just doing 350s on 105, that's three, where we're going steady, medium, fast. So the last one is fast, then we should be ready for our main set. So our main set is divided into two different sets. The first one we're going to do three times, and that is one 200 metres on four minutes, 
followed by one 50 meters on one 15. Now each 200 meters is meant to be done at your threshold pace, in other words, your triathlon race pace. And each 50 meter on one 15 is done as a complete recovery. So after each 200, where you're really checking that time to make sure you're coming in on your triathlon race pace, you've got a nice recovery where you can actually set yourself up for the next 200, which should again be at exactly the same pace. So the aim of our main sets today is really to start picking up the pace on your threshold pace. The only way you can swim faster in a race is to practice swimming faster in practice when you're training. So this type of set is hugely important. You're re-emphasizing your current pace, then you're trying to pick up that pace in another type of set. Now you can only do that over shorter distances, but slowly but surely those shorter distances become longer distances and those longer distances become race effort paces. And so slowly but surely we're going to improve your swimming and improve your times and hopefully that's what you're here for. So once you've finished that we're going on to another set. This time you're going to have four repeats of one 100 on two minutes followed by one 50 on one minute 15. Now the 100 is going to be done at slightly above that particular pace. And what we're talking about here is between one and five seconds per 100 faster than your 200-100 split, if you get what I mean. So it, you just divide your 200 time by two and you should be one to five seconds faster than that. So it's not a huge difference. You're not going flat out. But what you are doing is you're just raising your pace so you actually are improving your speed over time. After each 100, there's a lovely 50 recovery on 115. So that should be really nice. Get your heart rate back down so you can make another good effort for the next 100. On the fourth one of those, instead of doing a 50 recovery, we're going to our 200 meter swim down. Now this should be done front crawl or front crawl and backstroke, a mixture of the two, and slowly but surely easing down in pace so that by the end of it, your heart rate's low and you're ready to change and go home. Okay, so that's it for this week, our ninth session. Next week's our 10th. Let's see if we can do something special.